Okay, so hi there. Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. And please introduce yourself. What's your name? Or how would you like me to call you? Well, I would just like to be called Tester Tree, I guess. Okay, so I, I can just call you Tester. Okay, so and and tell me, Tester, um, what do you generally know about Eternal Saga? Well, it's a great game for strategy, or at least compared to other games. I mean, like, it didn't live up to my hopes of like games like Bannerlord, those things. But oh, I guess it's um, or it, it it feels that you know that urge, that need, on the go. Oh, so it can fulfill an urge, okay. But if it's not better than other games, why, why is it that you still play it then? Why don't you go back to like other games, for instance? Well, most importantly, the other games don't really have a multiplayer. You really just go against yourself. It gets boring after a while. Like that. That's especially true in Bannerlord, because you're literally just one person roaming the entire world and. It kind of gets boring after a while, but Eternal Saga, well, every time they introduce a new character, it just changes up the meta, and, well, well, it's it's nice to figure out what what it does, what, what this change means for the community, what this change means for, you know, all the compositions. It's just generally, well, more interesting you, for the long term. You say you're a tester, like, on... Like, for example, on Bannerlord, like on these other games you were playing, did you do lots of testing on those? Or is it only on this game? Well, mostly on this game. Bannerlord was just, you know, some book glitches, some exploits, which were far and few in between. Which, for this game, to put it simply, look up, look down, look everywhere, and um, yeah, you got 360 bugs right there. <laughs> And um, in terms of the testing you're doing on the game at the moment, is there anything that you can share? Well, most obviously is my uh, boss exploits. Well, the most, the most, well, the earliest one to be revealed was clearly the Dark Knight, and I think at that point everyone also knew about that. But the, the more recent one, which is the set Skeleton King glitch. So basically, you don't really need a tank, you just you can just slap in whatever you need, and you can beat B10 of the Skeleton King boss quite easily. And I, it's correct to say you have a website called, is it Flankman? Is that correct? Uh, is that your uh, YouTube no, site? Uh, that's my YouTube channel, yeah. Yeah, and is that where you would put, is that where you would put your videos? Is that where you would share your testing, your, like, what you've been, your results? Well, yeah, but, you know, it... I, I might put off on that later, because I, well, when I first went into it, I didn't know how much of a pain video editing was, <laughs> especially for longer yeah. segments, like 30 minutes, oh, good God, it, it, it keeps me up at night, how am I supposed to do that, so, you know. Understood, and, and tell me something, though, why is testing so important to you? Well, it's, most importantly, it's fun. Ooh. And well, I get to learn new things, and I get well. The the point isn't that I'm the only tester. There's tester one, tester two, and well, literally everyone else. They they also test the game. Oh, well, and well, they share knowledge. And in this in our in the in the Discord community, it's actually quite lively most of the time. So we get to share information, share tips and tricks, and I get to learn. They get to learn, and in, in fact. I love testing because I get to share information with others and I get to learn from others. It's it's the best experience of my life. I have I never really had such an experience with others before, so yeah. Wow. Excellent. And um and, and tell me, what kind of testing do you expect to be doing in the future on this game? Well, most obviously I guess bug testing. There's a lot of them. And let's see, what else testing? Yeah, um meta testing because you never know, because this game has the Awaken system, and it may mean that the devs secretly add Awaken, sort of, and it might just completely change one hero from a damage dealer to, a, for example, a nuker, or, you know, any class, anything. Anything could be possible, so it, it's it's fun. It, I sh yeah, 
I should be able to test newer weekends in the future once I get to a more solid position. And uh, yeah, and how are you doing in the game? How 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 are you how are you feeling about the game? How's your progress? I mean, do are you are you paid to win? Are you free to play? Like, what what's your what are you in regard to the game? Well, I'm completely free to play, and uh, judging by how many guilds full of people that are literally paid to win, I'm actually surprised at my progress. I'm considered well, so called far ahead for free to play, very far ahead. Wow, excellent! And um, and actually, in the guild, you're actually uh, you're a moderator. Yes, is that correct? Uh, yeah. And and how how is that? How how is the moderating going? How are all the people who are how are all the newcomers who are entering like the Discord channel? Are there any like general issues that they're facing? Well, the general issues is meta, how good some heroes are, and what hero should I get. Well, it's it's the usual things, and then, but others. Wait, there was this one time. Yeah, um, let me check. Yeah, so there was this one time where a lot of people joined, but they were Koreans, and I think they were from a solidified group either in Korea or in the global version of the game. And uh, they did share some very nice things, such as, you know, how this character actually, you know, didn't do doesn't do that well late game or something. Hmm. Okay. So. So. Okay. So lots of um. Okay. So lots of interesting things there. Like whether they're from Koreans or whether they're from okay uh, different people. And and if you were to give one piece of advice to newcomers, um, what would that be? Well, most obviously, get Mercedes. Kick start. It will blitz you through most of the game. Uh, no, not most of the game. You will need the life steal ring for that. Hmm. So. Yeah, so basically get Mercedes 6 star. Silius will bring you a little further in ter so that you can start grinding out oh. the redstone. That that thing will be very useful to you um, late for literally your entire game because you're, the most important thing during the mid game is where mm. you start farming transcendence stones. It's basically the thing that allows you to upgrade the stars of your troops. Now, if you want to do that, you're going to need the castles. Why? Because... It's basically like the first castle that gives redstone gives roughly three every eight hours. So you could theoretically get up to nine a day, which will definitely speed up your progress. Thank you. That's that's I think a lot of people definitely want to hear that kind of information. So um, I, and actually, there's a lot of people who have no idea about a lot of information at the moment. Am I correct? I do see a lot of people in global just asking what should I do, what hero is the best. Although that has been tapering off for quite a while, sadly. And if you were to think about this game like in the future, what, what do you hope? What do you hope to see or what do you hope can be improved? Well, deeper systems. At this point, oh. it looks like... like you know, in... In Bannerlord, there was this one feature that I liked a lot, and it was, let's see, what was it? Oh yes, the morale system. If your troops were low on morale, they would start to retreat, they would start to panic. In this game, they are more of robots just running around, and uh, maybe getting stuck on walls, getting, you know, just flying around all over the place. It's it, it it's not realistic. I, it, I think if they implemented a morale sort of system, or at least, you know, make them not you know less robot like and this game will be much more enjoyable wow that is that's 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 honestly deep a morale system it, uh, wow I, I think a lot of people i wonder i wonder how many people would be very interested in that I, and i hope any developers that are listening i hope they can maybe like consider that or perhaps they could write down i don't know in the comments how could people get in contact with you if they have any questions with regard to the game well, you can just always ping me on Discord. I'm always listening. Well, okay, and um, well, yeah, I'm, and I'll leave a link below with regard to Discord. And um, and and is is there like I wonder if there's anything else I'm missing uh with regard to this? Like with regard to your testing, honestly, it seems like sometimes I see you write stuff like like you're testing like 
you've been testing something for six days or whatever. It, I mean, it really sounds like it's quite a deep process. I mean, like, I mean, does it take a lot of time out of your day? Well, not really out of my day. It just takes out a lot of my processing power of the computer because usually the testing just involves um, mostly just, well, taking the, let's see, what was it? Oh, yeah, just letting it repeat for a very long time. And then, like, for example, when I was testing, when we were like the, me and some other dudes were testing the drop rate of the Santa dolls. Yeah. Um, we just basically let the thing repeat while also measuring how much shoes it consumed, which is well, a stamina thing. And basically we compared rates and we were sort of able to tell that, well, quite clearly Santa dolls are really, really rare. And well, some people were getting very lucky on those. <laughs> you were one of those. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, for a time before my luck went down the drain. Interesting. So there's there's still a, there's so many things to learn, and I think yeah, hopefully, hopefully, um, if you're hopefully that if you're still playing this game in the future, hopefully, I I really would like to talk again and see how your testing has been going and how and how you're feeling in the future. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. So great. Um, so thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, very much for participating in this um, uh, discussion. And um, with regard to the meta, finally, like, do you do, what? What do you think is going to happen with the wear beasts? Do you think they're going to like take over everything at the moment, or do you still think the current like meta, like the the orcs or the elves, do you think they're going to still stay on? Like, do you think the orcs are going to stay on the top? Well. In my personal, like, one part of me says it will just flop on the ground. Because, well, the the beasts are supposed to emphasize on horse archers, as you see in Astania, the second map. Like, they have horse archers. But then, when I compare these horse archers to actual horse archers in real life, they, they were very pathetic. Like, horse archers do not, and I, I repeat, do not just stand there. They, they're basically just... They're basically just normal archers with four legs at that point. They're, they're quite frankly just, you know, they don't do, do hit and runs. And I don't think the system will be able to take hit and runs. So, yeah, that's one part of my brain. And the other part of my brain will say they will be overpowered because the dev most likely knows this limitation and will probably buff them. But I'm pretty sure they'll mess up the buffing and make them like, you know, the next meta. Or maybe they'll deliberately mess up so that people will just spend gems on it. Yeah, that, that that's my outlook for the new faction, anyways. Uh, well, that doesn't sound very positive, unless you're paid to win. I guess would that be correct? Yeah. Or, or are you prepared? Are you pre are you saving lots of gems for for what's to come? Mm, well, not really, because well, to put it frankly, orc archers do fulfill the role right now for skeleton king B eleven. Mm -hmm. That's the most important one. And also, yeah, world boss. Uh, I see a lot of people using orc archers as world boss, and I'm I I don't I don't think they'll fall out of use in the PvP meta because like I heard they have crit rate, they have slow. So yeah, if concentrated fire just means Mercedes just gets absolutely annihilated at that point. So yeah, they'll still be useful, quite frankly. Okay, so thank you very much, and um, thank you for taking your time. Uh, okay, so uh, I, I would say uh, hopefully we can talk to you next time. And um, yep, yeah, I'll leave the Discord link below. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much, Tester, and yeah, have and have a great evening. Bye. Bye. So thank you for joining, and feel free to join Discord. Links are all below. All the best, Club Wisdom Eight. Over and out.